Hello everyone and welcome to another video. When I see people struggling to make money in scenarios where you can charge for the rights, they often charge way less than the guests are willing to pay. In this video I will explain how much you can charge for your rights so that you can make sure to get the most out of your guests. Note that this video is only for rights with stats and not for shops and stalls. This video is based on Durklink's guide to the right ticket prices, which I have linked in the description of this video. If you want a more in-depth look at how exactly the code for it works, I recommend taking a look at that guide. Every right has three main stats, excitement, intensity and nausea, which are used to calculate the right value. It is this right value that the right ticket price is based on. Each of the stats contributes a different amount to the value and it also differs per right how much each stat contributes. The value of a right is calculated in the following way. First you need to multiply your stats by 100, as that is how they are stored in the code. Then you need to multiply each of the stats by their right specific value. After this you add the three resulting numbers together to get one number. To get the final value you have to divide this number by 1024 and round down to the nearest whole number. This is quite a bit of math, so to make it easier to understand I will give an example. Here we have a looping coast with 5.17 excitement, 5.78 intensity and 2.61 nausea. Multiplying these with 100 gives us 517, 578 and 261. If we look at the list of right specific values for the stats, we can see that the looping coasters values for excitement, intensity and nausea are 50, 30 and 10 respectively. We can now multiply 517 with 50, 578 with 30 and 261 with 10. If we add these numbers together we get 45,800. Lastly, we divide this number by 1024 and round down to get the final write value of 44. This process is the same for every write in the game. All you have to do is put in the correct stats and the correct write specific values for the stats. Most writes have a similar pattern to the looping coaster, with excitement contributing the most, intensity contributing a little less and nausea contributing the least. There are some interesting exceptions though. The monorail and miniature train have a value of negative 10 for their nausea rating, meaning that a higher nausea rating actually lowers the ride value. The only ride that I could find that does not have excitement contributing the most is the air powered vertical coaster, which gets more value from intensity. I have put a link to the full list of ride specific values in the description. Now that we have the ride value, we are ready to calculate the maximum price we can charge for the ride. First we have to multiply the right value by the age value of the right. This age value starts out at 1.5 and goes down as the right gets older. Here is a full table of right values with their corresponding age range. Keep in mind that the year in RCT is only 8 months, so the right value goes from 1.2 to 1 after 1 year and 5 months and not 1 year and 1 month. Let's say our looping coaster is brand new. That means that we can multiply its value of 44 by 1.5, which gives us 66. Before we do the final operation to get the actual price, we need to look at one more thing. If this is the only looping coaster in the park, we don't have to do anything. But if we have more than one of the same ride type we are calculating the price for, we need to multiply by 0.75 and round down. Let's say that we do have more than one looping coaster in this park. This means that the new value will be 49. Now all we have to do is divide this number by 5 to get the point at which guests will complain about the price being too high. This gives us a value of 9.8 dollars, euros, pounds or whatever your currency is. As a result the highest value we can charge for the ride is 9.7 euros. It is a lot of work to calculate this for every ride, but luckily Reddit user Tom van Hees has made a calculator which I have linked in a lot of my videos. All you have to do is select the ride type, enter the stats of your ride and enter if you already have more rides of that type in your park. If you then click calculate it will automatically calculate the maximum price you can charge, which is 10 cents less than the number in the column on the right. 
Big thanks to Tom for making and hosting this calculator. This price of 9.7 euros is probably a lot more than you expected from a coaster this small and basic. If you add some path, scenery and other rides nearby to boost its excitement rating, you can charge even more. In parks with access to ATMs there is no good reason to not charge the maximum price. Guests do get a tiny bit happier if the ride price is under 25% of the maximum price, but you're better off getting that extra money and spending it on improving your park. If there are no ATMs and you have a guest call, you might not want to charge this much, as guests will leave your park if they run out of money. In those parks you need to find a good balance between getting enough income and keeping enough guests in the park. There is one last thing that can influence how much guests are willing to pay for a ride, and that is if they paid for entering the park or not. If you play RCT1 or Open RCT2, you have the ability to charge for both the entrance and the rides at the same time, which is impossible in vanilla RCT2. If you do charge for the entrance, guests will pay only 25% of the normal value for the rides, which potentially makes your income a lot lower than if you had a free entry. Before I end the video, I will show some examples of rides with their stats and how much you can charge for them, assuming they are all new and the only ride of their type in your park. First we have this relatively small air powered coaster. It's a very short ride and you can charge the maximum possible price of 20 bucks for it, meaning that you can make immense amounts of money from it. Next up is this compact wooden coaster. For this ride you can charge 17 bucks and 30 cents, which is a lot for a coaster this small. Lastly, we have the corkscrew coaster from our profile picture. For this 349 euro coaster, you can charge 9.5 euros if it's the only one in your park, and still 7 euros and 10 cents if you're spamming this ride. That is all that I have to say about this topic. As you have been able to see, you can charge way more for the rides in RCT2 than anyone would pay for them in real life. If you maximize the prices, you can make insane amounts of money in large parks. Before I sign out, I would like to thank my mom for being very supportive of my videos and pushing me to make a video again. Because she is so awesome, she will do the outro of this video instead of me. Take it away, mom! Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.